Hi friends, good morning and good evening. My name is Sumit and I welcome all of you to BISPtrainings.com. This is my next video in Dynamic CRM. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate you how to set up a goal management in Dynamic CRM. Goal management, it's a very important area in company. And it's a way for an organization to track the progress and the success of their employees, mainly in sales or in marketing as well as in customer care functionality as well. But mainly it will be used in sales and the goals, they can provide a clear understanding of what is expected from the employees. What a company is or what an organization is expecting from an employee and whether that employee is achieved the goals or the target which has been allocated to that employee or not. So the both the managers and the employee they can easily view that how close they are to meeting the expected goals or the goals assigned to that employee. So to create and set up a goal in CRM is pretty easy and they are very easy to understand and we can set up goals or we can create a goals and assign it to an employee in just a few click. So let's take a scenario. Mother, the scenario here is There's a company and that company deals the customer service issues, the issues which are raised by the services. So every time, whenever any issue is raised by the comp, uh, raised by the or registered by the customer, one case generates. So being a sales manager of the company, I just wanted to track the how many cases have been resolved during a specific period by a customer care executive. So I just wanted to track the number of cases resolved by the customer care executive. So let's suppose I have set a target of 50 cases within a week or within a month or I have assigned the target to a to a executive A and I just wanted to track whether the customer care executive A would be able to achieve those goals or not. So to get these numbers, we need three things. First, we need to set up a goal. The second important thing is we need to set up a goal matrix and the finally we need to create a roll up field. So the roll up field basically this will be. It is used to. Find out the actual and the estimated value of the goals. This is to basically it's a it's a part of a goal matrix which is used to calculate or to aggregate the numbers or the figures. So in our case, the estimated versus the actual figures and the estimated versus actual number of cases results. The goal matrix, it tells us how the goal figure is being measured. The number versus dollar amount or the uh, figures, the number amount versus numbers. And finally, we have goals. So this gives you the actual figures whether it is revenue or numbers of cases resolved. So we need to set up these three things and then we assign a goal to a specific person or a customer care executive and it can be calculate or we can calculate the goals or the actual target achieved by a customer care executive just by clicking on a button without specifying any code. So let's start building this goal management in our solution so that's the solution we are we are using i have already registered on sales uh, dynamic crm and now i want to set up a goal so for to set up a goal i get to the sales functional area and here we have goals in similar way we have services as well and service also have goals so i click on service and in service click on goals so by switching the views, we can check the active goals or the close goals or 
my active goals are personal goals or if we want to see the all goals which are assigned to other users as well we can see that as well but this section will only appear or we are only allowed to see the goals which are assigned to other users if we are permitted for doing that to see that so i click on my active goals and you can see there are no active goal there are four active goals which are assigned to me so but i want to create a new goal so click on new to create a new goal uh, in this window first i specify a name so i'll just wanted to say i just uh, i'll give a name case or cases resort goal owner so i am the owner right now i am the only owner i am the only user available in this application so i'll give my name i will be the owner and i will be the manager right now the second important thing is we need to specify the goal matrix so when you click on this you will find out there will be two three matrices which are defined by the system like the number of leads number of cases number of product units and revenue and we can click on look up more records and also we can set up a new goal matrix so i want to create a new goal matrix here so click on new give a name case goal matrix and the matrix type will be count or amount because our target is to find out the total number of cases resolved so in that case i will be going to use the count if you want to find out the total revenue generation after the opportunity close in that case we go for amount but as per our tar as per our requirement i'll select count here scroll down to roll up field so before that i click on save it save this and now we are going to add a roll up field into it so select this roll up field so that we can add up a roll up field for calculation for performing the aggregation so i click on this roll up field a new section appears roll up fields click on add new roll up field and roll up field will be actual integer source record type will be cases record type will be resolved because my i want to perform an aggregation that how many cases has been resolved so click on resolve source record type status problem solved or information provided this is so we can go for whether it can be resolved or problem solved so i go with problem solved record type will be cases and the date field will be modified on on which date the so i just wanted means uh, i want to roll up as soon as the record gets modified so modified on save and close roll up field will be actual integer save and close so the goal roll up field has been added goal matrix save and close select this case goal matrix add this by default the time time duration will be the fiscal period i switch it to custom period and i want to calculate for a specific duration so i just wanted to calculate for this current period for the 14th of march to 20th of march so i set this to january february march 16 march and uh, 14th of march and to 20th of march save it click on target and i set the target here the target integer will be 20 goals or 50 goals so i set the tar target to 50 goals so just for better calculation i am going to set it for 10 goals you can increase the numbers as well and finally when we done with the target goals i simply save and close it so the goal has been added now we need to activate it so you can see the case has been registered and i select this and activate the goal make sure to activate the goal otherwise it will not be applicable by default the goal is in draft format so i'll simply activate it and once the goal is activated so you can see right now the target is 10 percentage actual percentage achieved actual zero in progress is nothing now 
I get to the service, click on cases, and let's resolve few of the cases. Let's say I I'm going to resolve two cases. So I select the cases, case one. I select case one and resolve this case. And I confirm it. And the resolution type will be problem solved. Resolution solution provided and resolve. So that's the one first case I have resolved. One more case I want to resolve it. So I select this case two and resolve case. And Please remember that we cannot close. We cannot resolve two cases together. We cannot resolve more than one case at a time. So it, we can resolve only one case at a time. And resolve. So the two cases I have been resolved now. Uh, being a manager, I would like to find out that how many cases have been resolved. So I again get to the service goals and I select this goal and simply click on recalculate. So when we click on recalculate, it will done the calculations. And uh, after the calculation, you can see that the target is 10 of 10 cases to be resolved within a given time frame, within a given duration. And this is the period. So within this given period, I have to resolve 10 cases out of those 10 cases. I have actually already resolved two cases and the percentage achieved is 20%. So that's how the goal management can be performed in dynamic CRM. I have set up a goal for resolving the case in similar way. We can create a goal. We can set up a goal for calculating the actual revenue generation after the opportunity closed as a one. So in next video, we'll be going to find out that how to calculate the actual revenue by using a goal management. That's all in this video. So in this presentation, I demonstrated how can we create a one specific goal. But as you know that dynamic CRM is much more than uh, one tricky pony. So there are some more. There are some other things that we can track as a goals, which includes the leads, the count, the number of leads that an employee has created, the quantity, track the number of items sold, track the number of phone calls which are completed, canceled, made and received, the number of faxes has been sent and the number of email which has been sent by a executive by a uh, employee so that's all in this video if you have any queries you can write to us on www.bisptrainings.com you can subscribe our youtube channel for more videos on dynamic crm we can provide the customized training on dynamic crm as well if you want to know more you can connect with us on the given URL. Keep watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.